Action sets can be saved and shared with others via the option flyout menu on the actions panel. It is important to remember that action sets can be saved, but not actions. If you'd like to share an action you've created with someone, it must be housed inside an action set. It can be the only thing inside the action set, but it must be contained inside the action set. The option to save actions that you are seeing on the screen right now will be grayed out if you try to save just a solitary action. Saved action sets will be saved as a .atn action file. They cannot be opened in Photoshop, but they can be loaded via the Load Actions option on the Options Flyout menu that you're also seeing on the screen right now. Now we already talked about this in the previous video, but I want to make sure that everyone understands how to find additional actions that are available as presets, but maybe you just don't see them right away on the Actions panel. You have access to so many actions that are included in Photoshop that go way beyond the default action set that we took a look at in the previous video. They include things like star trails, textures, image effects, frames, and many more. To load these action sets, go to the Actions panel menu and simply choose a predefined action set from the list. They will appear on the Actions panel below the default actions, and each action set will have a slew of additional actions that you can apply. You can reload the actions to only list the default action set, so maybe you appended too many things and now it's all cluttered and you just want to get back to the default. To do this, go to the Actions panel menu and then choose Reset Actions. You'll be prompted to either append, cancel, or replace. In this case, you would replace so that you set it back to the default actions.